hot right now. Like everybody's using it, everybody's talking about it. And you probably either tried it already or um, you're thinking about trying it. Well, I have actually been using it for the past three years and I love it. I've been using it on my skin first. Also, I have a blog post about rice water and lashes and eyebrows. So um, check that out, have that posted below. But I've actually started using rice water on my hair maybe, maybe about, um, I started about a year ago. But for the first maybe like eight months, I was like, uh, nothing's happening. <laughs> like people are using rice water on their hair to grow their hair and I was using it and nothing was happening. So I decided to try something different. Now the way that I was using it at first is that I would ferment it um, like you're supposed to. And a lot of people do it as a rinse, but when I started to do it, I sprayed it on my hair and left it on there as, you know, I use it as the water um, that you use for your wash and go. I decided that maybe I'm not doing this right. Maybe I should just rinse it out. That didn't really do anything either. And I'm not the type of person that, like, I do it one time and I expect something to happen. Obviously, your hair is not going to grow overnight. So, um, what I did was, um, I watched this video first by Mo Nose Hair. It has helped me tremendously in terms of knowing about the structure of my hair, the type of hair that I have, which is low porosity hair, and how to take care of my hair based around that. So once I discovered that I do have low porosity hair, which means that the cuticles of my hair are closed, and the only way to open them and for products to penetrate is through heat. Hmm. I decided to use my rice water with my steamer. And let me tell you, when I did that, my hair took off. I figured that what the rice water did for my eyelashes and my eyebrows, it had to do it for the hair on my head. So I put it to the test. So first I would wash my hair, then I would apply the deep conditioner onto it. And then once I got out of the shower with the deep conditioner on, I sprayed it down with the rice water on each side of my hair and just made sure that I worked it through. And then after that, I would sit under the steamer with the deep conditioner and also with the rice water on my hair and actually would penetrate into my hair. So once I did that for a few weeks, I noticed my hair was growing. And then a couple more weeks. <laughs> I did this every single week. I still do it now. I'm on my 11th or 12th week of it. And um, I definitely see a difference doing it this way as opposed to how I was doing it before. And just letting that sit on your hair like that, no, <laughs> it wasn't doing anything. Steaming it along with the other adjustments that I made helped it tremendously. I switched up a few other things that I've done in terms of the gels that I use, the conditioner that I use, and um, I will make another video for those as well. Hopefully this tip has helped you with your rice water. Um, I also linked the steamer below so you can purchase the steamer. And um, it's really been great. I've used the steamer for my hair and also for uh, my face as well when I'm not going to the sauna I can use the steamer for my face but this tip has really helped you can see the growth um, from just a small period of time so let me know give it a try give it a few weeks don't just like do it first week and be like oh my hair didn't grow it's not going to in the first week I mean it, it is but you're not going to notice it so yeah, just give it a try, give it a couple of weeks, and come back here and let me know what you think. Or hit me up on my Instagram at Brandy N. Cohen. Let me know how this has worked out for you because I found this way has really, really helped me. So until next time, I will see you later. Thanks for watching.